Hey there folks, I am back again. I am the Mighty Plantain and we're looking at another new soda. Uh, we've got Crush Pineapple. Now, I was talking to the person in the convenience store where I found this, that you know, back when I was younger, I lived down south and you could get orange, grape, and strawberry crush pretty much anywhere. These days, it's mostly just orange and the grape is a rare find. I don't think I've seen the strawberry in decades, maybe. Um, but, you know, regardless of whatever else is out there these days, Pineapple Crush is brand new, and we're going to check it out, see if it's any good. It is caffeine-free, so that's kind of good, I guess. Pineapple soda, naturally and artificially flavored. And nutritionally, it's about the same as any other soda, so let's not worry about that. We care about how it tastes. Rim of the bottle's a little bit dirty. I don't like finding dirty soda bottles in the convenience store. I used to work for a guy who owned a little mom and pop convenience store in this area, a general store more like, and that was one of the first things I learned was the gallons of milk, the sodas, any of that stuff, you wipe it down when you have a wet rag with you when you're stocking the shelves because it looks clean, it looks nice, and it impresses the customer. So, when I see that not happening at even in big grocery stores, I'm disappointed these days. Anyway, Pineapple Crush. Definitely looks like it could be pineapple. There's almost a bit of a greenish tinge there. It's almost, um, it's maybe a little neon. I forgot something. Hopefully I remember to edit that correctly. Three, two, one. So let's just get a better look at it here. <laughs> we can do this with uh, sodas as well as with the, the beers and such. If I can find the switch, I know it's on there somewhere. Right there. Oh yeah, that looks really nice with the backlight on it. Yeah, there's a, there's a weird tinge to the yellow, almost like a neon tinge. Probably from some of the artificial, well, this is naturally flavored, but it's probably artificially colored. But, anyway, I digress. Definitely has a pineapple smell to it. <laughs> aroma, not flavor. Pineapple aroma. Not much else coming through, just a little hint of pineapple. Hmm. It's interesting. I don't know if pineapple's the best flavor for a soda. I like pineapple. I like a lot of pineapple flavored things, but it's like with pineapple juice. Sometimes the, the, the flavor is just a little too much. It tends to be on the acidic side and not leaning towards the sweet. So, you know, I, like I said, with, like with pineapple juice, I can drink a little bit of pineapple juice, but after about an eight ounce glass, I've, I've had enough. And I think this is going to be similar to that. Where it's good and I like it, but I don't know if I would drink an entire 20 ounce bottle. But not bad. I mean, it's definitely pineapple. It's sweet. It's got that acidic pineapple flavor. It's not as effervescent as some other sodas. It's not really bubbly. It's a little more syrupy in terms of um, not only the flavor, but the texture. But I'm not getting a lot of a lot of fizz out of it. Um, I mean, it fizzed up pretty good when I first opened it, but it seems to have faded pretty quick. So maybe that has something to do with the flavoring and, and how it's formulated, but it's not bad. I mean, check it out. It's it's worth 
trying at least once and if you like it, you know, keep going back for more because if it sells, they're going to put it on the shelf regularly. Um, so yeah, like I said, not something I, I think I would drink the entire bottle of, but I would definitely check it out once in a while. I don't know if it's going to be a go-to or anything, but if I'm in the mood for a pineapple soda, at least I know there's one there for now. So, um, the hell would we do with a pineapple soda? To make it more interesting, pineapple vodka. How about that? <sighs> Been a little while since I've opened that one, I guess. Now, I know, I know, I talk about Jim Beam and the unofficial boycott and the fact that I don't drink the Pinnacle stuff because of what happened to White Rock Distilling thanks to Jim Beam America, but <laughs> I got a good deal on this. Um, I think I only paid like eight bucks for it. The Pinnacle was on sale at like ten for ten bucks a bottle at my uh, local supermarket, and I got a coupon in the Ibotta app to get two bucks back through PayPal. Um, of course, you have to get twenty dollars total before you can cash that out through PayPal, but that's easy enough. I've done it four or five times the last couple of years. Um, but yeah, so this was a good deal. And that's a good combo. That is definitely pineapple. And I think it's smoothed out. The vodka has smoothed out some of the acidity that I was getting from the soda. This is just like a nice, sweet pineapple treat now. That's, I think I like that better than the soda. Yeah. I like that better than I liked the soda on its own, which... Not necessarily a good thing if you're an alcoholic, but... Damn. Yep. That worked out perfect. But that's just what I have to say about them. You know, check out the, the pineapple vodka. Check out the pineapple crush. Hit me up down in the comments. The email link down below. Love to hear what you have to say about this, uh, this new pineapple crush soda. While you're down there, don't forget to like and share this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, folks. Thanks for tuning in. There's the fizz. Cheers.